What is the value of a tree? Is it the price tag at the nursery? Or the priceless memories we make beneath the branches? Trees hold more value than we may realize to our history, our homes, and our hearts. But there is a disease that threatens trees all across Texas. Hundreds of thousands have already died as a result of oak wilt, and the numbers will continue to rise unless we as Texans do our part to stop it. The relationship between trees and people goes back a long way. Certainly throughout all of recorded history, uh, people have, have extolled the virtues of having trees in their environment. Trees actually improve the environment that people live in. Trees have been an integral part of the Texas landscape for centuries. You know, in, in all of our, our travels across Texas, there's barely a small town we don't come to where we find a really important tree. These ancient giants have been part of Texas long before we were, and hopefully, if we steward them well, we'll be part of Texas long after we're gone. But it isn't just the emotional connection we feel to trees. In fact, trees have real hard money value as well. Though it may be somewhat subjective from person to person, I would say if we were to lose all the trees in any given region, the economic impact would be enormous. As an example, if you had a $300,000 property with trees and lost them, your property value could drop over $50,000. If your property was worth $1 million and you lost the trees, the monetary loss could be $190,000. Does that seem far-fetched? Well, it's not. Oak wilt is creeping across Texas, leaving devastation in its path. Oak wilt is a tree disease that um, is caused by a fungus. It's like a, a common bread mold, except it has the unique ability to infect and kill healthy oak trees. Or it usually takes about six to eight months for the disease to run its course in a live oak. So we get these eventually very large patches of dying live oaks. I've seen disease centers get up to two, 300 acres in size. From a seller perspective, what I would say about oak wilt is it's a question that if it comes up, you're going to have to address. You have to disclose it if you're aware, and then that introduces question marks that might be the pivot point whether a buyer continues to move towards an offer on your property or not. Not doing anything about oak wilt is an interesting question because we have a lot of people out there that don't do anything about oak wilt. If it gets into a, into a neighborhood in Austin where we have a lot of native oaks or we have a lot of planted oaks, then the fungus is ruthless. Neighborhoods and ranches across Texas have lost thousands of oaks to this disease. But not all is lost if Texans know how to recognize and treat oak wilt quickly. There is, for example, a symptom that is very common in the oak world world. Um, it's called venal necrosis. The leaves along the veins turn yellow and then brown while the background of the leaf stays green. We have recommendations for people not to prune their trees between February 1 and the end of June. If we don't uh, uh, practice prevention, then, it, it, then we have to address the fact that our, our trees are diseased and we have to do something about it. We can break up the root systems. We can stop that tree to tree spread through the connected roots. And if we get the trench placed properly, then it has a chance of up to 80% of stopping the spread of the fungus. Now let's say for example a trench isn't appropriate and therefore we have the injection technique. When the fungus gets to the tree through the root systems, it's going to grow up, but it's going to encounter the fungicide. And if it's there in high enough concentration, it will kill the fungus. I've also seen sellers that have banded together when they did trenching in the neighborhood to nip it in the bud before it really spread. Today, that's a flourishing subdivision with wonderful property values and has experienced quite a bit of appreciation over time too. Any time we lose a resource like that, it's a loss to not just to the people, but to the culture as a whole. 
It ranges from economic losses to a loss to society when these trees die. What is the value of a tree? Well, I mean, if, if our trees and our history are one and the same, then what is the value of our history? And I mean, that's priceless, right? For more information on oak wilt in Texas, visit texasoakwilt.org or contact your local Texas A&M Forest Service office.